The following content has been provided by RWTH Aachen University. Um, so when this uh, um, perceptual processor picks something up, it then stores this away um, into yeah, visual, to, uh, visual and auditory stores. And um, this uh, uh, processor or this perception time is, uh, uh, they have measured in this, uh, for the CMN model or determined that, um, it's 100 milliseconds. And you can uh, imagine this to be um, uh, sort of like the exposure time in a camera. So you have 100 milliseconds that you take photons flying to your eye in. And um, with this, you have um, then your response. And this is um, explained in Bloch's law, where it says well, the response that um, a person has or that a person gets um, is um, the product of the intensity of the uh, signal, so how many photons are coming at me, and the exposure time. And furthermore, the, the um, response is the same if uh, um, the exposure time is um, below 100 milliseconds. And um, this is quite curious, because uh, imagine that I would darken this room completely and um, just show you a flash of light um, for a short period of time. And if I then just show a um, flash of light that, uh, that has 50% the intensity, but show it for twice the duration, <laughs> you will actually not be able to distinguish between those flash of lights because the amount of photons getting to your eye within this 100 milliseconds is the same. And um, it gets weirder if I would be to separate these, uh, uh, these flashes. If I would show you two distinct flashes, um, but overall this still um, is the same <coughs> amount of light, amount of uh, uh, photons hitting your eye, you won't be able to distinguish between those three um, uh, conditions here. And um, we'll see this now in, in a little uh, uh, in-class experiment. Um, who thinks this is a um, continuous motion, so that it hits the object and goes on? How many of you? Just three. What? <laughs> so the other, uh, the other th thing that they, they are not connected. The, the other object is not reacting to the, the first one. Is that true? OK, interesting. If we look for the, the second one, do you still think this is a continuous motion? Do you see any difference? What about this one? Is this different? What, what would you say? What is different now? Slow? It's paused in, in the minute, yeah. Um, and um, what this actually was, it's the first two, they, um, the first one has actually no delay between the one ball um, moving in, the other one going away. And the second one has a 50 millisecond delay. So it was actually a little bit delayed, but for, uh, for most of you, it, it looked the, uh, the same. So there wasn't, wasn't a difference between the first two. But the third one had a delay of 100 milliseconds. And there, most of you said, well, this does not belong together. So it's, there is a little uh, delay in between. And um, yeah, if you do this with more people and um, uh, more time, you actually get this uh, uh, sort of curve. So um, 100 milliseconds. Uh, was here, so n not many people said, well, this is immediately causing uh, um, the, the um, reaction. So the one ball is not immediately moving on to the second one. Um, so it's, it's more delayed. They, they still have something to do with, the, uh, with each other. The one is coming in, but then waiting and then going on. And if, you would, uh, uh, if we would delay this further until 200 milliseconds or so, most people would say, well, these are completely independent. So if something moves in stays there, and then at some point, the other one goes away. Um, so uh, uh, the, the perception time uh, of, of 100 milliseconds there actually means when, when uh, what happens before, um, you more often describe to, uh, uh, to be happened yeah, um, 
uh, for the same cost. So it's happened um, continuously. Um, and this actually explains a little bit the, the um, uh, animation rates that you have in movies. So if I would say, well, 100 milliseconds and I still perceive it sort of working together, why do I just show 10 frames per second and um, be done with it? But um, if you remember, there's still more a delayed causality for most of you people. So that you think, well, these are connected in a way, but not directly. And um, actually, the, the uh, movies we have um, have 24 frames per second, which places you somewhere around here, where you then think, well, these images following after each other, they actually um, uh, are one fluid motion. Um, yes, and it also um, uh, explains a little bit the, the delay um, that you're having until uh, the, the um, uh, causality breaks down, um, which, which means if you have an interface, for example, on, on your smartphone and you have a button there, and I'm pressing this, um, well, you shouldn't show a response, so inverting the button or showing that I've pressed it um, after 200 milliseconds. Um, because then people think, well, it's, it's not responding. And um, you might have experienced that on, on desktop PCs as well. If you click somewhere and it doesn't seem to react, but does it a little bit later, that is hugely frustrating. Um, and uh, so, th so this means you, you don't have to calculate everything once you've pressed the button so to show the immediate result what converting the video do uh, does. But um, you should provide a, a sort of feedback within these 100 milliseconds so that there is um, uh, the experience while well, I've pressed this button and uh, it's immediately done something. And if you um, uh, take this to the real world, I mean, if I would press this light switch, it would react immediately. And I should aim to get this sort of instant uh, uh, feedback back to, um, uh, to our uh, virtual devices as well. And we'll talk a little bit more about the um, human deadlines la later uh, in the class. Um, so, but this, of course, also is, is not um, uh, set in stone. So um, it depends on uh, not just um, on, on the person, but also on the task. So if you would say, well, I was at the shuttle party last night, well, this might be a little bit skewed to the uh, longer duration that you perceive something. Um, while the, the intensity um, shortens the experience. So, um, the billiard uh, uh, balls, they were black, white, so a huge uh, um, uh, contrast there. And you uh, then tend to perceive um, uh, changes faster uh, there. While if I would show you the same experiment on a light gray background and a dark gray uh, um, balls moving there and there's a lot of noise, you would take a longer time to actually um, uh, perceive changes there. This content was provided by RWTH, Aachen University.